previously on the No VPU channel. Do you reckon the Steps Final Club PO box is still taking um, mail? And coming up, yeah, she pegs him. Dexter. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive garbage. And thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Start the shit show. Yes, hello, yes! This is a very <laughs> different setup, but oh my god, don't we look good in this light? Nova, where are we? I'm frightened. <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this is where we stream on Twitch. Yeah, well, this is not supposed to be an advert for that. You you segued very nicely. I'll give you some ham-fisted dollars there, because that was actually quite nicely done. You look better lit than I do. There's li we've literally got identical lights each. No, because so this no one is reason. on you. Look, this one's on you. This one's on. That's. Oh, God, they're all just going. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, when you get like the after image of like a really bright Don't say light. afterbirth. <laughs> what are we doing today? We are today, yes, well, yes. We are going to watch our episode that we took part in of Couples Come Die With Me. And we're going to provide some very tasteful commentary alongside. You know what's just literally dawned on me this second? What? We have to watch this fucking thing again. Yeah. I can't, I don't like watching it. <laughs> it's such a pile of shit. Do you like it? If you are not aware of what this is, probably outside of the UK, I don't know. It's a reality competition cooking program yes. called Come Dine With Me. You know, very light entertainment shit. We were on a spin-off of the regular version where they had couples. So people basically take it in turns to host dinner parties and everybody votes on who did the best job throwing this dinner party and there's a cash prize at the end. I sort of said to Nova, why don't we just go on it? And she was like, well, no, that sounds awful. I said, no. And I said, I'm <laughs> going to apply. And like, if we get accepted, then we can talk about not doing it. And then they phoned us and they were just like, yes, we'd like you please. And I said, well, Nova, I'm afraid we're going to have to do it now. <laughs> and Nova was like, we're going to get so I was, much exposure from this and we need to get shit. I was very against <laughs> it. I didn't want to do it. I thought it sounded like too much work. It literally was like we would get there at one o'clock in the afternoon and leave at 1am. It was a lot. If you follow us on Patreon, there is a video that we did with the other contestants. Oh yeah. They were wasted. Pretty soon after this video as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we should mention this. Should we mention it? Yes, we should. They were fucking wasted and it so was hysterical. there'll be like a lot of little tidbits and trivia in that video on Patreon. Okay, so before we get into the episode, uh, which by the way is, it's Couples Come Dine With Me. It's series six, episode 24. However, if you wanted to go watch it yourself, You'll find there is a geo block on it. So if you're outside of the UK, unfortunately you can't watch it, darling. If you are in the UK, it's on all four. You can go and watch it right now if you'd like to see the whole thing before we get into the reaction. If you're outside the UK, however, you can just sort of fanny around with some magic. Ah, uh, which oh, is- magic? Which is thanks to, oh, the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. <laughs> So Surfshark keeps your online identity completely safe by encrypting all of the data sent between your device and the internet so your personal data is completely safe. So you're off to a great start already, but also with Surfshark VPN, you can change your location where you are to a completely different one. Ah. Oh, yes. Which means if you're outside of the UK, you can quickly use Surfshark to change your location and you'll be watching us on your telly in no time at all and you can see how the narrator described us as amateur drag queens. He did do that. What a prick. <laughs> They've got servers in 65 countries, which is great for us because we are actually using Surfshark right now to watch a geo-locked Eurovision national final. And we've been using that. It's all over Europe, so we've used it in all different countries. And Australia. That's weird, that. <laughs> that's a bit close. Yes. Actually, that's a bit close. Um, who's this one tonight? It's Finland. Oh, we've like missed all of yes, it. Yes, well, we have done, but it's... <laughs> no, look, they're gonna do the winner in a second. I've said it so it thinks we're in Helsinki. For our American viewers, you can also access shows like RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix because we have the first 13 seasons there all in one place. We're so jammy. You can also use Surfshark to get better prices on things like airline tickets and mask your internet traffic from your ISP. So bloody nosy. I'd like to keep it on, please. <laughs> You can use it on all your devices with unlimited logins. With the code NOVIMPIA, you can get 83% off plus an extra three months free. There's no risk in trying Surfshark, basically, because they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're looking for a VPN, you're going to try it out, or you're looking to upgrade your existing one, then have a look in the box below. The description box is going to be a link just there. 
just going to put our Ohranga in. Why does she say? She's so dumb when she says, what does, it mean? does that mean? What is that? Bonjour! I love that we're like the oh. first opening. Bonjour! What do you say like to people? I don't know. I love to entertain. I make cooking potatoes look good. You look oh. the same. I've had such growth from this and you look the same. This was before we would like wear styled wigs. Yes, it was. It was before we did anything very accurately. It was a lovely summer. This. We were amateur, let's be honest. <laughs> no. Ow. So she's clearly more into him than he is into her. Do you think? Oh, for sure. I was just so drunk. Listen, this whole... Oh. <laughs> I'd that forgotten that. Oh my god. Absolutely horrendous. Can you remember being in their house? All oh, these people are going to be garbage. <laughs> well, some of them were. I mean, it's not a it's not a it's not a, a, a dinner party though, is it? Because well, it isn't, is it? You literally show up and they sequester you for most of the shooting day. You're locked away and you can't. If I had to have the choice, I'd definitely go for the romantic meal. Football. Oh, oh, you picked a fucking winner oh, there. <laughs> Bournemouth is so bleak, isn't it? Football! I like football! We're now being introduced to Joe and Rupert, who we do still see, we do still speak to. Oh. Oh. Do you feel like you're swallowing a tomato? Oh, this is such an ex excellent representation of what they're like in real life. <laughs> swallowing a tomato. Going on holiday, it's my favourite thing to do. Going on holiday? Holidays whilst we're on holiday. But the next one? They all like, all they do is fucking well, on holiday. holiday. But the yeah. next one? When do they ever earn money? They're always on a holiday. What do they do? It's so bizarre. It's uh, strange. Uh, she like did that middle. singing exercise with us though. Mm. That we went back to that house so many times. Oh, I love oh, them. They don't live here anymore, do they? They moved. They moved. Selfish. Tonight is all about us and the things we enjoy and love. So holiday, travel. Look at holidays. how dark Rupert's hair is. Going on holiday. Don't say that. As if he's gone super grey. Well, he's gone a lot more silver than he was there. Silver is a nice way of putting it. Barcelona salad. What constitutes a Barcelona salad? I'm intrigued by that as she well. Stirred it with you look so baby faced. <laughs> <laughs> Meet our second couple. See, look at him. Amateur drag queens, ah. Aaron and River. Amateur. They're such ass amateur. Amateur drag queens. As if you paused it on, on you trying to do <laughs> that up. It wasn't supposed to go the whole way. There's there's a lace. The thing is, like, ugh, I, I know it's I know it's silly, but like they never asked, they never discussed with us that we're gonna call us amateur drag queens. And it is funny, but like it was literally your full-time job. Like not, well, amateur no. implies that like it, you're tech. You want you want to have a profession in drag. I you don't want know to... who determines what makes someone a professional drag queen. If you're paid for it, I suppose, possibly. Yes. But the thing is, I, the, we when we signed up for this, I still worked at that shop. So the information they not had when from we were us, filming though. No, but the information they had from us was that you were a stylist and I was a manager, and that's what they had. So when it was like, oh, so what, you, you're this and you're that, it was kind of like, I was like, oh, no, I've just left and I'm sort of doing this. And they were just like, oh, so what do you want to be called? What should we I say then? I this conversation or Should whatsoever. we say, well, this is the thing because they, they wrote down a lot of stuff and then ultimately would just kind of like bin it and just say whatever they wanted to. So I was like, say social media manager at the time. I was like, that sounds more apropos. And then they were just like, no, we'll just won't say anything about it. We'll just say they're amateur drag queen, which we were super irritated at the time. But looking back, I mean, who gives a flying fuck? Really? What I would say is, do you, do you remember having that one room for all of our drag one room we filmed in there we got ready in there we stored all our drag in there i'm the fun one I'm just like really fun he tells me to to turn the volume down you do do that look at us this is us pretending to do drag she was like go in the room and do drag i i rein you in I like this one because I feel witchy poo. Witchy poo. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I sometimes I don't know where that hair is. I've got no idea. I don't think we're rude. Look at that. If there's something worth discussing, that might be a little bit taboo. We 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 will. Mm. How very risky. Oh, he. They were such assholes to us. See, and people say, "Why don't you go a drag race?" I don't want this treatment. I'm perfectly happy editing myself. I feel like this as well was not a terrible experience production-wise. Like I think the producers. I guess there were some lines fed to us, but it, they weren't forced on us. It, it was always framed in a way like. Actually, Do you I'll want to say this? How about you say yes, this then? But, like, 
They would ask you something and then immediately she'd say, say that again, but in 10 seconds. So everything had to be cut into small bites. Mm, now these two, what do you think, Nova? I thought they were such a laugh um, in the episode. Do you think that now? Yeah. I was for sure that he was gay. Yeah, that was a... Well, I think he probably is a bit... There's something going on there. Botox out of his mind. Yeah, and he denied having any kind of, like, work done. And we were just sort of like, Oh, yeah. We were like, oh, yeah. We were like, who cares? Just live your life. If she pegs you, then that, like, clearly you're that sort. See, that's... That's a line that's been fed, for sure. The and that these two is a work of art. Like, that's been fed to them. I would describe my cooking skills as erratic. <laughs> <laughs> this was her, this was her storyline. Oh, she's that girl in the episode. She's the kind of like scatty. Mexican lasagna with With squits. Mexican lasagna, do you think that's? I mean, there's got Mexicans starters. in it. What does that mean? But it does have she is tricky. Do you think that means it's got Mexicans, Mexicans in it? Mexicans in it. She's tricky. So we don't really see this couple anymore. I'm not gonna, like, we're not gonna sit here and say, Rocker should probably end up watching this, but, um... She's got, she's got some tricky opinions, let's put it that there's way. There's reasons why we, we don't Very keep tricky in contact opinions. with them, and they seem to plaster it all over social media quite publicly, <laughs> so I feel like it's not completely outrageous for us to say... If you wonder why we're not messaging in a while, just check she's your a Facebook bit of a bird, and and he's sort of the pinny, isn't he? Just the fact that she just said that has it got Mexicans in it. Well, I don't know. Maybe she was playing like I'm a blonde bimbo. Well, what? Mushrooms. Hopefully, the meat eaters won't even know. She's got a stain on her blouse. Look at yes. that. Be she, she's got a big fucking oil oh, mark on her blue blouse. Course, as well as the starter, that Why do I look baby face? What does that mean? Are you being rude? No, you look really young. This wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was. It's because I've got I've, I've got eyebrows. That's what it is. Uh... They made so look at this. She forgot the fucking garlic, but she's also put Worcester sauce in it, and it's which vegetarian. is not vegetarian. Not vegetarian. She got so much stick on yeah, social media. Yeah, there were so many like people commenting saying like, "Why is she holding Worcester sauce?" She put chocolate in that. That's interesting. Cho dark chocolate though. I can't really remember the food from their night. I just remember it being fucking loads. Look at that. It was pretty good though. I remember it being good. This family-sized portion of pasta is, is in, in fact, fact the starter, starter is, is it? It? It's it was that bit in real life. It's literally like a family-sized lasagna for one. Squits. But it's, it's what was the squits? Was corn, wasn't it? Esquite. Yeah. Taste means toasted corn. So these guys. <laughs> These guys had a fairly, a weirdly negative reaction on social media and, and she, I think in particular, was hit quite hard. She didn't really anticipate that people would say... Probably not why. Oh, these people are going to be garbage, aren't they? A lot of people said, well, obviously the, the using Worcester sauce thing. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, that side of it. But a lot of people weren't very nice about her. That wasn't her fault, though, because it's... Rupert, that is the vegetarian, not Joe. So yes. Rupert should have known. <laughs> yes. But I don't know what it was about Joe. People just were, just were troll. People trolling. Yeah, him people didn't said, like I mean, her. I was a dickhead on this, so I deserved everything that people threw at me, and it was barely anything. I think I was received very well. I remember Joe said... I remember Joe said after this that her their whole experience cooking was incredibly stressful and I can't remember why, but there was like so much that she got really pissed off with production about because they originally said that they had X amount of time to get ready afterwards before greeting guests and she wanted to like do her hair and makeup and stuff. Rupert is a massive Star Wars fan and he wanted to do, this was supposed to be like a Death Star dessert and I think last minute they were told, no, you can't have anything branded. So it ended up being space station cake. And it was just like, they had a lot thrown at them. And we didn't I think, get that this was supposed to be like sci-fi. We thought yeah. we thought it was just like the International Space Station. But the director said, take everything out of your house that's like going to be on camera, that's arty. Yeah. You can't have pictures on the wall of like because movies. Of copyright and anything on sense. So your house has got to look like this weird Ikea show home yeah. with nothing in it. Even photographs on the wall, they wanted... Minimal um, pictures. No, they wanted, like, release forms from the people in the photographs. 
not going to do it that way, right? <laughs> oh, I love her. What? Margarine in the thing, stick it to. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's so... F- I love how he finds her fucking hysterical. <laughs> Say. That's so funny. <laughs> These two are so great. They're such good value. So they're they're teachers, aren't they? They're like art, uh, like um, theatre. Yeah, <laughs> teachers. Very theatrical couple. I fucking loved that dessert. Do you remember that dessert? I remember liking all of their food. We'll have to see what we actually say about it. Because I remember liking it. Was literally just cake mixture inside. I don't know if I was mad about the dessert. I can't remember. It was just. It was like a trifle with chocolate, basically. But it was I just really fucking cream. It was just cream. I just remember the portions being enormous. Like, ridiculous. enormous. They're off to get changed, leaving their guests to ponder the night ahead. I think that this couple are parents, because I feel like... Yes, cake you were accurate. A thing to do. So for some <laughs> unknown reason, um, you're about to see, they, the producers told Joe to hang back and to not greet us at the door. And that also pissed her off because she was like, why? And they didn't say. So I think everybody assumed that they were gonna do some kind of bit. And it was just stirring up people's like stress. It was just, they were just trying to annoy her for no reason. Do you remember? And they asked us about it. And I said, I thought he was one of those people that's like married. I think think that made it into this, didn't it? To a doll or something. We, yeah, because we answered the door and it was just him on his own. It was we were just so, like, well, I thought it was because she had what? no time to get ready. So she was still getting ready. Because I think we did um, a Talking Heads interview before we even met Joe. And it was like our first impression. And I we thought were like, she was a doll. We only met Rupert. So like, where is Joe? Well, this what was is that weird. All? What the fuck was that all about? I don't know. What was that all about? Hi, how are you doing? I'm, I'm wearing you smart doing? shoes. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice Come on in. in. I mean, think I've still got those pants. Look how awkward I am. Look at how bad my posture is. This was before I went to a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah, I, my posture. I'm like hunched over. What are they like? Uh, really cool kind of couple of guys. We are cool. Gay. <laughs> Joe was so excited. She was like, gays, gays. She said afterwards, she was like, I saw you from the window upstairs and I thought, oh, they're young gays. <laughs> oh, yeah. Young. We are young to Lisa. Yeah, yeah cool. 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 <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. Last to join the cool they are very good looking, these two, but I don't, you can't, you can't come at me and say you've never had I love had that Phyllis. dress that Jen was wearing there. That's so nice. Who in this day and age she is always so well put together. Probably to a filler. Like a, look at his face. His yeah, face. I mean, come on. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. They're very polished. Yes. Yep, see, they are. Yes. Very well put together. They kind of look like her eyebrows look great. Mildly famous. Like on sort of an advert or something. Like wow. toothpaste commercial. Or come dine with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd look at his bits, though. And um, I called him Simon. What? Oh, no. I would have a look. I've never apologised, have I? No, not once. So. You're not putting that on now. You were such a bitch to me in that kitchen. I making egg wash. I didn't ask you to put it on. Yeah, but it made good telly, didn't it? Great telly. <laughs> um, so. One of the most stressful things about this is you are put into a group of people you've never met and they seem very interesting, but all of the conversation is so heavily monitored and controlled. And all you want to do is like naturally socialize and, and ask you can't people speak what they do them. and who they are. And you can't, it was very like RuPaul, nothing you say matters unless the unless camera's, the camera's rolling. rolling. So we had a lot of um, like production staff, like runners and stuff that would like monitor us when we weren't on camera. There was one woman in particular, wasn't there? She was called Mela. Yeah, she was super she Australian. Was Australian, and she was like, "You she can talk nah. about things that aren't about yourself." So she would like try to get people to talk about like TV shows and stuff, like to pass the time. She, if, she if did a very was, good job. She was good at. She yeah, was good it can't at. Be an she easy was. Job it was kind of irritating that you'd be like. I remember saying to Gemma, like, "Oh, what do you think about the space station?" And she went, "Nah, ah, say, what are we watching on Netflix? Ah, the Jinx documentary. Have you seen it?" <laughs> yeah. And we'd be like, "No, fuck, please, fuck off." So that was very stressful. There's an entire segment that's been cut out from from our episode, which is that there's a part of the evening where you go off and you find something in the mm. house. So you go rummaging, and the stuff that you you find, you've obviously planned what they're gonna find, where it is, and because the director was like. Well, we don't want people just rummaging around finding loads of dildos. Do you remember her? She was like nine, 12 months pregnant, wasn't she? Huge she was. Do you remember? 
And she it makes really, sense though. Really short. She looked a bit like Vern Troyer, but she was like twelve months. It does. Pregnant. It does make sense what she was saying. But we all had these planned out, and then they never used any. Yeah, of but them. they also didn't use Joe and Rupert's um, entertainment, entertainment because it, there wasn't really any, was it? It was like some warm-up it was all, exercise. It was like a theater warm-up students. with clapping, and yeah. I fucking hated it. So if you're watching was, this, Joe and Rupert, that was, was embarrassing was for bad. you. Yeah, that was bad. Night one in oh, it's night one. I keep hunching over because that shirt is so small on me. <laughs> <laughs> All you can see is like oh, ponytail. Swears and curt. Oh, I have a ponytail. I only just realised that. When did I have a ponytail? A loose ponytail. I don't remember having a ponytail. Maybe I just experimented because it was like telly. We can't stop doing telly. <laughs> I know we took the piss okay, out of the salad, but that actually looks really. I would eat that. Oh, it was fucking spinach dry. with mushrooms it and was raw like mushrooms. Raisins. I would eat that. I didn't know you could eat raw mushrooms. This was an awakening for me. Enjoy. That was really good. I was unaware you could eat mushrooms raw. So I didn't know. Out there, I found that so very bizarre. Have I never done raw mushrooms before? No, I sat it down. So I sat down. <laughs> I thought they'd forgotten to cook them. I sat down next to Joe. Gemma was saying the same as me. I would just eat them at the park. No, dirty. I think it's great, is it? But Joe said to me she was really nervous shooting this, but that she sort of looked oh, gently yes. towards me, and I looked at her as well, and we both like winked at each other. Had like a knowing. We had a knowing look. Slightly dry. I would order it, but I would ask for maybe just a little ranch or something on that <laughs> uncooked mushroom, which I'm still not entirely convinced you can eat. I don't, it's weird. Yeah. I looked, I looked quite good there. I was thinner there. Things have gone downhill. <laughs> we met years ago, working at college, and I was in performing arts, it was in media. I became the theatre manager while Joe was head of performing arts. There's something about theatre people. Isn't They're so yeah, annoying. Know them. They're like a breed. They're really They're irritating. Like the They're too energetic. I was... Oh, darling, how frightful. Oh, I remember that. I was like very enamoured, though, because um, they were making mojitos, and I love mojitos. Yes. profile, it said, if you date me, expect to get wet. Yeah, those two... They and that drew her oh, towards him. They were very cheesy, weren't they? No, not yet. That means we're the boring Oh, that means we're the boring ones. Oh, bless them! <laughs> I love them. They, they, they used to get absolutely hammered with us, didn't they? They'd just, like, go and, like, sit by the sea and drink loads. That's great. The size, the fucking size of that would feed a whole family. These are massive. How did this happen? I don't recall that did that problem. meal. Right. Did you say it was good? Yeah, it was good, but it was huge. Yeah, extra, extra, extra. It's very nicely done, though. It's a stomach busting Mexican lasagna. That is like that is like rice. if you bought that in a in a restaurant, it would say like serves four. It's huge. No, doesn't look right. <laughs> and it might be hot, so please, 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 please do be careful. Look at me eating. <laughs> Face. The lasagna. I was imagining pasta sheets, mm. and I was mm -hmm. thinking this is a weird Italian Mexican fusion. I wasn't quite sure. I was intrigued. No one cares. Probably maybe because there was so people care. People ask. No one cares. Yeah, a bit I thought it would be pasta of sheets. Yeah. Grow up. Some... It's basically just like stacked quesadillas. So this segment. Is filmed no after no you've done no interviews, no you've done talking no head minute no bits, no and no the actual no dinner party no is no really no a no short no period no of time, no by no which point no the food no is no cold no when no you actually no eat no it. No yeah. It's not hot so at all. On our wedding day, we were doing all and you're told that you can't. You can't eat too quickly because they need footage of you with like food on your plate and they need you to look like you're yes. eating throughout they the whole conversation. They said we're going to every single time. It was, okay guys, two minutes of silent eating so we can get shots of you eating. It's cold by that point. The director said you can't give doc points for the food being cold. You spoke over that story. That story was hilarious. But she said Simon at, yeah. the, at the altar. Yeah. I've never apologised, have I? Well, once in How Long We've Married. That's so funny. funny. She wouldn't explain Sorry. why. She was just out of thin air. I don't know. Absolutely no idea. She knows. There'd be some serious questions. She pegs him. I'm sorry. <laughs> We are not married. Oh, they they seem that sort, <laughs> don't they now? Just that sort. Stop it. Developments going on there. I like my green shirt there. Do you like that? 
It's all right. Oh my god. So, no, it's really green shade, isn't it? I think it's a lovely shade of green. Um, it's not he's still just. Do you remember when the director <laughs> they they called got him Darren aside. aside and they said like <laughs> they'd be <laughs> less boring? Do you think? Look at that. For sure. She's more into him than he's into her. I said. They pulled this dude Darren aside and and she said, "Don't you think you should be a little less boring and maybe say some funny stuff?" She's really cruel, like what horrible things to say. Like you really get into someone's head by saying something. That's such. She was such a great a bitch. <sighs> now listen, this got so much stick, but I I stand by this was the best dessert of the week. I was imagining like fucking so tasty. It was. I just kept thinking of like space cakes. Well, we thought it would have weed in it. Well, obviously it couldn't, but like we thought it would be something hippies. We thought they were like hippies or something because they were just like space cakes. I don't know. Oh, there you go. I did like it. It was. Oh, I would eat that all day long, all day. The worst one I ever used was, um, "How would you like your eggs in the morning?" And she said, "Unfertilized." So obviously, I never in a million years <laughs> would say, what's the worst chat-up line you've ever heard? Yeah, that was so a... there were conversation topics there, which I don't mind that. Like It was two people per night would take an aside and the director would say, when I prompt you, ask what the worst chat-up line yeah. is. Or it was, ask what your alter ego name would be or whatever it is. I would give us a solid... 16, 17. Would you, that hard? She thought it would was shit. I was going to say 14. Four. <laughs> 14. Four. Yeah. What did we give them? I don't remember. I think, I think the reason they cut hours. out the segments where so you go and rummage good. for shit is because we had so much to talk about. Yeah. We had naturally all got on so well yeah. that they didn't need the fluff, I think. 15. 15's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad at all. I, yeah. I love the look at their faces. Okay, are we next? Were we next or were we, we, we were, were next. second? There we are. Oh my god, that's old, that's Novimpia Heights, the old stomping ground. I want to be, look at your ponytail again. I want to be back in shorts. Oh, it was such a hot summer that when we filmed this. High drag elegance. We might see a quieter side of them. No, I disagree. Oh, really? I Joni, what was up? Do you think she put on like a rainbow-esque top because she was just like, <laughs> we're going to some gays tonight? I would say I'm probably the boss in the kitchen. Yeah, but you are bossy. Yeah, control. This is before you had your undercut as well. Oh, yes, yeah, so and there's just fucking hair everywhere. I think either of them come across to me as particularly foodie type people. I think they're going to surprise us. Okay. River and Aaron's menu is a Are you barefoot there? First of all, okay, so we need Hang to. Right, I just want to get a cushion to sit on. We need to preempt. But I can't thing. believe that you like gave away footage of your bare feet for free on national. Television. Don't look at my. That's only you can only see my heels. Wiki feet are shaking. What's wiki feet? Oh, you're too young. You don't know. <gasps> wiki feet. The director woman. Let's call her Bab. I don't remember her name at all. She I looked like Vern Troyer. Either. R.I.P. But she looked like Vern Troyer. She was very nice. Well, she was. She was nice enough, but she said you've got to come up with names for these dishes and you oh, cannot yes. you cannot use names for them if you're pulling it for example the dessert is a grasshopper pie which is a nigella lawson recipe because they have to technically be like original Your recipes own. because they then post them on their own website afterwards so they were like if you are using a recipe you have to like change one ingredient she said you've got to change two ingredients, two ingredients and change the name so instead of mint, we a uh, mint uh, liqueur, we used absinthe and we changed the biscuit base. And she said, you've got to come up with a name for it, but all of them have got to be drag related. Yeah, because they want, they just want, because the fact that we did drag was a surprise. They didn't want us to reveal it on the first night. They wanted us to just ask, like uh, open the door to people in drag and have it be a surprise. And they've got no and idea. They thought maybe we could like pepper some hints like in the menu names. And that was virtually impossible because like, how are you supposed to make these things sound our main dish was a mushroom wellington and she was like yeah but make it draggy and we we're like that does not you can't fucking do that it's so stupid so we thought it would be hysterical you know what we should have called it what which would have been so much better what a mushroom stiletto why 
because a Wellington is like a type of shoe. That would have been funny. That would have made sense. That, that would have been funnier. Funny. That just came to me right no, now. No, but you know, okay, so first of all, we, we called the, st- the starter was a, 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 a courgette based salad, which yes. we called Queenie Zucchini, which I thought was that's cute enough. Yeah. That's innocent enough. Yeah. And the dessert was called Glamazon Pie, which is so fucking <laughs> stupid. But the main dish we called Mushroom Wellington Realness, which we thought was fucking hysterical. Because realness obviously is a ballroom term and it's like a drag, it's part of drag vernacular whereby it's like something is, is, is giving the essence of something else but is not actually it. So if it's like schoolboy realness kind of thing, it's, you understand that what, how realness works. Yeah. But we thought it was fucking hysterical to call it Mushroom Wellington Realness. Because then the question is like, well, what actually is it then? If it's not mushroom, what, what is it? It's like, it's almost pizza. Do you get it? So I didn't, I didn't know that at all. And you should have explained that when they asked us what it means. Um, I thought it was just hysterical because that is, it is a mushroom wellington. It's not realness at all. That's why it's like so stupid. Right. But then when they asked us, what does realness mean? You should have said I that. I did explain it again. They said, say it again, make it five seconds long. So I said, drag term, shove it on the end. We called it a day. Because I said it's just nonsense drag vernacular. We know now in retrospect that it's kind of like a culture that it's like we've kind of like pinched it and it sounds... Obviously it's a stupid joke. Oh, but we, it, it's, we it's only also pinched dumb. it from Drag Race. Drag Race have pinched yes, it. Yes, of and course. Kind of like it's a du- it's dumb, but that's it. why we called it that because we thought it's so fucking stupid yeah. and it'll be hysterical. But that's the explanation for what... We would not have called it anything. See to the world of drag. Had Vern Troyer Barb not told us to. Did they, this, did they this talk about... Me. This was good, this. It's either going to be really royal or really camp. Or both. Or both. Or the queeny bit. It's obviously going to be a bit out Do there. Do you know, in like retrospect, how did they not there. guess? Do kind of yeah. <laughs> it's a couple of no, games. No, Jo said games. that she did guess. Did she? Yeah, yeah, the first yeah, night she guessed. She I think she might have spotted something. Or nail was... polish. We had nail polish on. No, not the first night. There was something one of us said, and she was like, they are not unfamiliar with the theatre. I think one of us had like exit stage left or something, and she like twigged, and she was just like, oh, this is more than just like a pair of gays. That like, nail do. polish you're wearing is so ugly. Yeah, it is. The green one. It's a purple one, isn't it? That's an aubergine. Um, what colour is it? Is it green? Zucchini's green. Okay. That yes, caused a bit is. of controversy, Ooh, didn't it? <laughs> I look great. This is great. Rupert's gonna probably want this on. Oh, he would. <laughs> he would. We literally were so confused. We got they home after day out. one. Lettuce leaves, which I think automatically makes them. And we thought that they were both gay, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. They're both so camp. Yeah. In different yeah. ends of the spectrum, maybe. This starter was delicious. It was really good. When I tell you, you need to try and make, if you're looking yeah. for something a bit different, it was really good. Zucchini salad. It sounds gross. It sounds super. Oh, this is fucking. This is so dumb. This as well tasted really, really good. But it's suffered because once you've made something they want so to take kind of um here we go drag lingo. <gasps> my head it's, it's that real it's realness well let's clear that up then yeah i just well like how do you how do you define it so this so was dumb. this was also like great but because they want to faff about afterwards taking pictures of it to like you've got to take b-roll of yeah, the yeah, food yeah. And this kind of thing is like, it's in pastry. Well, we should have thought about that. It was sitting, it was like mushrooms sitting in pastry. So it did go soggy. It went so soggy. And it was ice cold as well. Barb should have said to us, make something that'll hold its shape. Yeah. Imagine if we did a souffle, we'd be fucked in the ass. It's the second all vegetarian menu of the week. Be honest, you're disappointed there's not me. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have seen, maybe they could have done me and River a Beef Wellington. And then yeah. You're two out of six people. Well, Absolutely the fuck not. Also, literally, what are you bringing to the table? Nothing. Actually, he did make three different options on his menu. Yeah, but I meant like charisma-wise. Eat a whole, just with the yolk in it. Yeah. 
Just whisk it together. You got that, River. Sounds simple enough. Oh, <laughs> suck my the lower half of my asshole. Make an egg wash. I didn't ask you to put it on. This is an egg wash, right? Yeah. We watched this, didn't we? We had a viewing party. We had like we had like Vesuvia around, Shar and Megan. And Vesuvia thought that was fucking hysterical that you were shouting at me. Well, yeah, because you were about to put an egg wash on the pastry before we'd even put the filling in I was in too it. busy thinking about my lovely outfit for the evening. We made this, didn't we, for Meg and, yes. and Sha. And it went down well, but what was the feedback? I mean, there was too much the garlic was, in the starter. There was too much garlic, that was it. The rest, they were just like, yeah, it's great. The dessert... Because it's like I, I made, didn't set the first I time made twice it. before yeah. and it was a disaster pie. both times. And what's and your favourite pie? What's your favourite pie? Well, I hadn't thought. I haven't thought of that. My favourite. That's my favourite. We should have like sent her a banoffee pie. <laughs> How serious she is? That's my favourite. I hadn't thought Amazon of that. Is like an eight foot tall woman. She's like huge and she's glamorous and it's very like drag vernacular. Yes. Yeah. So we've just shoved that in front of the word pie. And called it a day yeah. because we couldn't explain properly because they were just like, no, it's taking too long. Biscuits with chocolate chips and melted butter for the base. I made a lovely. Last time you did this, don't forget that it was too dense. And it was it shit. Set. Oh so yes. You needed a steak knife. But on the final, it was perfect. Yeah, it was. It was perfect. so perfect. It was and people on, t on Twitter were like, they're such fucking assholes. Marshmallows are not. They were vegan marshmallows. They were vegan marshmallows. Thank well, you. Vegetarian at least. I don't know if they were vegan, but they were vegetarian. They to get changed as their guests are on the way. We had so much extra time. Yeah, because we were, it was we like a military operation, and we wanted to make sure actually. We were so nervous because they told, yeah, like you said, they told us that we had one hour to get ready. And we were like, no, you're going to have to give us longer than an hour. Yeah. And they were like, we uh, don't paint uh, that quickly. And we had to like get ready, like a full outfit as well. Like it takes us longer than an hour to get ready for YouTube. And like, you can't even see, but like, I'm literally in sweatpants. So I'm in full gauche. I am not. Um, sort of. So they said, well, basically... The quicker you are prepping the food, the more time you'll have. Quicker you're into it, the quicker you're out of it. So we practiced this we and did got it trial. down to such military precision, we ended up with extra time. And so we ended up getting ready quicker than we needed to. And you can see throughout our segment, my hairline is sliding further and further back. It was and the hot contour, though, it was really hot. It was the height of summer. And, and we're all over the lights oven. that they brought inside. It was Boiling, boiling hot. So yeah. my hairline is sliding back, 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 and the contour gets darker and darker and darker to try and make up for it. But we ended up with a good three hours, didn't we? Because I think yeah. our cooking was so we were so yeah. on it with the segments. You have no oh, look at my legs! Say hi to your hosts for the evening. I'm Nova, and I'm Olympia, and together we are no I do not know how I fit in that dress. It's fucking tiny. Also, I hate that she made me write, please come around the side. Yeah. It's not grammatically correct. Yeah. And she was like, no, you've got to write that. I was like, fuck off. So we borrowed that gazebo, didn't we, from a friend? Yes. Oh my goodness, when we walked through the door. And we That's saw the garden that we filmed. Just, what did we film there? Yeah. The cube. So we did a bunch shocked. of stuff. You're Amelia Fart. Parody. The Amelia yeah. Fart one. And the Kathleen Zellner. <laughs> Kathleen Zellner, that was the same garden. Where did they come from? And the carpet, the carpet was strips of carpet that our sofa arrived oh, in. Oh, yes. Our sofa arrived but in But we thought that was such a good carpet. idea because then you could, like, stand on it and, like, heels wouldn't go into the well, ground. Well, but they did anyway because the carpet was so thin, the heel went right it through. It wasn't so... No, what did it? It mine did. Oh. Well, I'm heavy and big. Wow. Well. Um, I also don't understand this because we were told not to wear any branding, especially Disney, and Rupert rocks up. In this Star Wars blazer, but it's art, which though. is it's not so like official, is it? Yes, it is official. Is it? Yes, which was so against the rules, but I don't think they realised what it was, so they didn't care. He got away with wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I love her. <laughs> oh, it was funny. Those it was, two it was are really so funny great. having the reaction. A better reception. I just can't go over your legs. <laughs> Rope did look good. Oh, and we did champers, didn't we? With the, with the hibiscus, hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus flowers, yeah. Is that a small bird? Captain <gasps> that. And fabulous oh, and then we made them try on, for it, knew try on our shit. Look at my hairline, it's a disaster. Right, so we'll talk about this over the ad break, actually. They came in and, and when we first, like, doing the initial consultation, and they were like, we were concerned about space. We said, this is such a small house, like, how are we going to be able to do this? Because it's a kitchen dining area, and then there's, like, the living space. And they said, oh, it'll be fine, because we've done, and um, we've shot episodes in, like, flats. studio apartments Tiny before. Like, we'll make it work. So they came in, they took away 
half of our sofa and put it into storage. Can you believe? And we borrowed a dining table and basically just like had that smack bang in the middle of our living room. Like just completely like gutted. At, like this weird angle. It was a very strange yeah, setup. It was very, and like we covered up a whole bunch of stuff with like just nice throws. So it and wasn't, like, that's when you printed all those pictures for the wall of our friends. Yes. Because, because I was we like, we need to look like we actually have stuff on the nice, wall. sociable people. Because we didn't really decorate that house no. much. Um, we had to borrow some lanterns to go on our bedside tables for the yeah. the um, the talking heads in the bedroom. But I'm glad we did because now we, we still have some of those. Actually, I reprinted them when we moved in here. I printed them. Someone gave us a but... lovely wall hanging, and we we kept it. Yeah. It's night two. You look the same. And and well, this is like makeup without a cut crease. This is not my fast makeup. There's lots of black and glitter. How did I how did I fit into that? I ordered the sickest the little date of my hair. I was gonna wear a mesh top and this red tartan skirt. And I tried to take the skirt off, I wore it the night before. And when I took it off, it ripped the mesh and it ripped this giant hole. I'm sorry, but that looks so good. And it was it was great. I felt like and that presentation. I didn't really like it. I felt like the presentation no. was amazing. You know what it was? We had nuts in it, and the, like a day before, we had to substitute because one of them was allergic. Yes. So we, we used put, toasted chickpeas instead. They for the weren't crunch. as good though. Oh, that's interesting. Isn't it? Really nice. I really liked the starter. The flavors were amazing. They were great. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a mixture of ingredients that I'd normally expect. So that's our fucking bedroom. That star, yeah. new to me. I stole that out of a shop window, the, the shop I used to work at. I just took that home with me. That wall hanging was a friend of ours. There was nothing on that wall at all. Dry? Of course they were dry. Dry? You Because the rest of it's soggy. You didn't cook your mushrooms and you're calling ours dry. How could you? So they didn't like linger on this very much in the episode, but we actually made up as like refreshments and to give us some freedom as well. So we weren't having to top up people's drinks. We made up three large pitchers of cocktails and I cannot remember what was in them, but we do still have the ingredients somewhere. But we, I remember we handed that cocktail menu to Rupert and he literally turned to Joe and went, oh fuck, we're not going to win this. <laughs> and I just like winked and walked off. It's those I don't remember that. That's so funny. I wondered who I'd been getting those messages from. Uh, you might use it, young man. Oh. Dread to think what you've been doing. Oh, poor Gemma. I didn't even know there was a purple emoji. It's a, it's a, it's not a courgette. It's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> she's wha she's so drunk at this point. Look. Can be used oh. To oh. Oh. <laughs> Her face when she realises. When she learns what a That's the cloud from Wendigo. There is a kind of Is it? Yeah. No. To be a little bit more colourful. You're a kind of rainbow nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very sophisticated. Yes, that is right. I'm so upset with our hair. I thought like the makeup is fine, but the hair is so bad. That must have been just on the cusp of like when we actually started to yes. know what we were doing with Look at my hair. hair. I mean yeah. I look rough. And that yeah. that bow yeah. keeps like attacking my makeup. And she's obviously Australian as well. Which it's no really, really unpleasant to eat in drag. I would not recommend it. So fraudulent. It's horrible. London. London, babe. Olympia has like got this great accent. Yeah. <laughs> she has got a great accent. She has. She, she has. <laughs> she. Oh. <laughs> she's was. Joe was wasted the entire week. How can anybody like bitch about her after watching this? She's so I don't funny. get why people were so mean about her online. Darren and Gemma have pet names for each other for sure, like kitten lips, yeah, lizard lips, giraffe face. She calls him Joe the little pig boy. Cat smolder. <laughs> giraffe face. Because you're always trying to do your ridiculous oh. look in the mirror. Smolder face. Go on, do it. <laughs> What's that? What is these two? Are just. Do you know what? We're going to have to cut this out or bleep it out. No, don't. But I didn't get... I feel like I didn't get these two. They were just a weird couple. These two you get. I liked them because I like a boozy blonde. I mean, I, I liked them as well, but it just... <laughs> we have to talk about these potatoes. Because they were so on, brown. Look at it on the right, you can see on how On YouTube, people commented. So this is because we pre-prepared them and we cut <sighs> them. And for anybody who cooks, you know, when you cut potatoes, if you don't keep them in water, they go brown. So this is what happened. They started to go black and brown. 
I did actually after this pick out the dark ones so they weren't served but again the whole thing is a charade it's not a but a few people in the comments are just like oh my god I can't believe those like bruised those potatoes like, it's not potatoes. gonna kill you but um, mm. that is because of the preparation I did not keep you would have water. done them and then she yeah. would have been like oh now we gotta go do something else yeah with the mushroom wellington in the oven nova fries up some potatoes. I make cooking potatoes. I make potatoes. Look good. Oh god. Those shoes are grotesque. The that dress is awful. Everything about everything about you is dreadful. Oh, good it was nice though that. Nice. It was just wet it was wet and soggy. It was wet. Soft underneath. <laughs> what? I wasn't Ladies listening. And it was welcome to this stage our mushroom wellington realness. I stand by it. It was good. <laughs> <great. laughs> <laughs> Sick. Sick. Wow. Oh, wow. It was so wet. It was real soggy. Enjoy yeah, because it, yeah, partly the mushroom because it was. I thought the mushroom so was bland as well. I'm not the biggest mushroom fan. Well, it was a risk. It's absolutely fine. I think the main. Went it's really absolutely well, fine. I thought he said divine. I did he? I'm sure he said divine. No, he said fine. Absolutely fine. No, don't rewind it. Oh. <laughs> Look at you there. On the top was really good, and. A bit of a soggy I can't yeah. believe they actually yeah. docked us points for this when it we would have docked them points for the same thing we were told we weren't allowed. I really respect you actually giving it a good go because you're one of the only Oh why don't you just eat his ass then? This is your second vegetarian. <laughs> Look at those fucking cocktails. <laughs> Cold-hearted snake. Yesterday you were quiet. That's it. Nova's in charge. Yeah. So I she think she's in charge. She's a bossy bitch. What do you think your partner's worst that habit lips is? very vibrant so purple, isn't it? Snoring. Yeah, it's a Nyx snoring. liquid suede. They don't, don't do that anymore. anymore. No. Oh, oh, fucking exactly. Nyx. That's a nice way of putting it. That's you are the worst snoring in no, you the are. entire planet. No, no, you are. I imagine they would both snore dreadfully. Well, we kind of know that he snores, don't we? Because of yeah. that party where he fell yeah. asleep. Sounds like this. <laughs> With empty oh, that's not nice, is it? That's see? Piece. Empty plates. Well, we we did. So we thought you guys would like to dive in and then walk a mile in our shoes. <laughs> what song did they put over this? Fashion. Is it Gaga? Yeah. You're so happy with his hair. Oh, this was really fun. Also, really they like. I felt this. like we did well with this because it, we had like 15 minutes for it or something. So we just had to just grab the spikiest, easiest things to put on. So it's a lot of coats, lots of wigs. That was. I made that for that Trixie Mattel thing, didn't I? Just something that looks fun. Seeing a straight man wear like high heels is always it's fun as well. It's such crap. It's such garbage. But look how much they, they love that. Yeah. I think we did have the best entertainment because yeah. It's a nice balance. Because oh, Joe and that Rupert was good that as well. That I love that we're so up I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but we did really well. Yes. We did do really well. Good. We did. Yeah. And I said this is a sophisticated dish or something. Of saucy elegance. And liquor. Yeah, booze. Presenting Glamazon pie served by actual Glamazon. <laughs> <laughs> Such <laughs> crap. And those on the plate. stars she used on the space yeah. station cake. Because she paused yeah. halfway through and she goes, are these the stars that I used on mine? And I said, yes, they fucking are. That was great. That dessert. It was really good. I'm sorry. So what do you think too boozy? No. I love the boozy. Yeah, definitely the right amount of booze. There's enough mm. of a kick. It doesn't overpower the whole thing. We just thought it really summed us up. Mm -hmm. It's a bit boozy, it's glitzy. I really would sweet. encourage you to try to make it because it's a very unique flavour, especially swapping out the um, mint liqueur for absinthe. It does. Oh, look! We... Quick, we... She was like, if you've got two minutes, just put some makeup on him. You know, 21. What did they score so us? Had a wonderful time, loads of laughs, great Look at those day. pearls. Can't fault the hosting, but some of the food wasn't to my taste. So for that reason, we're giving River, River and, and Aaron, Aaron 15. 15. See those two, they told us afterwards, they were like, we didn't want any disagreements. We both get, we gave you both 15, just to split it yeah. down the middle. Which, which is fair. That's too di diplomatic. Look, we're in the lead. I can't believe it. It is a very difficult thing to score. Oh, actually, it's an ad break, so I'll just talk over that. It is a very difficult thing to score. Oh, it's not an ad break. <laughs> because 
you've really got to set a standard from the first night and everything else has got to be comparing to the first night. So if you score particularly high the first night and then someone's better, how do you do that? Or if well, you she score had a conversation with that, someone's she? worse, so it's very difficult to try and suss out she how said, to score. What score would you like to give? They they have a conversation with you about your score first. Yeah. And then they'll say she'll say she said um at one point, don't you think that's a bit low? This would be more of an average score to give for the oh, points that's you're true. you're giving. Yes. So, so the scores altered slightly when we had a chat with her and she said, you need to tell me specifically why you're giving these low scores. Because they've done this so many times that they can kind of advise. And I wouldn't say that was fixing it anyway whatsoever, but it was just, it's difficult to have like a standard to yes. compare it to. Aaron and River for us are... They invited us week. round, yeah, do you remember? And we went round and I trod dog shit all the way through her dining room. They've got a lot of French bulldogs. I think like four French bulldogs. There's crap everywhere. It was like the opening scene of Clue where they keep checking their shoes. I couldn't believe it. It was because you went outside and then obviously trodden it outside and came back in. Look how good my hair looks there. Look how bad my hair looks there. <laughs> couldn't believe it. Beach party, so we were told the day before yeah, there's bar. tomorrow's event is going to be like beach themed. Beach and we were glamour. Like, was it beach beach glamour? I thought it was Ibiza party. Beach. I be oh I can't. Something remember in, in that beach area. House party. So we were like we ra we drove into town, didn't we? Like Toot Sweet. Yeah. And we bought I had nothing. Did you have a shirt? House. No. It we decided house. to buy Hawaiian shirts. You have never done tofu and it's tasted good. So That's clearly it's, really rude. Clearly it's hard partly to true it. now. Really rude. That deep Always fried tofu was great to used to get oh, from yeah. the Korean supermarket. Really, yeah. really annoyingly, this, this is, is potentially a winning. a winning starter. Yeah. Darren begins by God. dropping tofu. Whilst <laughs> <laughs> well, bad that. No. no. It was good. He prefers it when he does it we own. said in a talking head. I guarantee I can say with authenticity that their fucking house was plastered with live, laugh, love, it's Prosecco o'clock, all of that shit. And it was, it fucking was. And I wish they had left that in. So we've made a real, real effort to try and cater to everyone. It was like they'd have like a big mirrored, like cut out mirror thing of like the shape of a bottle of wine or shit like that. I will say that steak was incredible. It was real good. They went above and beyond to cater to everyone's diet. Yeah, they like, did. That's their own stupidity. Huh? It's their own stupidity. Yeah, well, they focus too much on the food. When you see the It's gluten. Satan is gluten. Satan! <laughs> You're shit when you see that. Oh, no. This is by far the biggest challenge on our menu. Satan's gross. It's like cake. I think we've tried it about four times now. She did not help him at all. Red wine, tamari, and liquid I just remember thinking it looked so that. gross. The steak, the sauce, they made a sauce. Oh, she's fucking hopeless. So I suppose it is a Satan steak because it's a steak that he's made and he has included gluten in it. I really don't think anyone cares about the Satan steak. The veggie mix is cut into steaks and steamed. It's so much effort and they really should have put more effort into the entertainment. Listen, I mean, I'm sure that lady has got better at the saxophone. <laughs> the Satan steaks go into the fridge and they'll be cooked. Also, steaks taste do you like remember the other, the other thing about their evening, which is not their fault, is they were so focused on this being sequestered and doing the talking heads and stuff that they didn't know when they were allowed to host. Because oh, the actual yeah. hosting is such a tiny amount of the evening. They had no idea. And the director said to them, don't you think you should hang out with the guests? And they said, you didn't fucking tell us to. And they, they were, were so strict about being like, be in this room, be in that room, they don't speak to Which is unfair. unfair. Yeah, that was a bit So unfair. the whole evening was a bit this of a shambles. This is so funny. The fastest cake in the world is. <laughs> I thought it was scum. They're so weird. They're, they're so fucking weird. weird. Their dessert, I thought, was too sweet. It was well, the dessert so was just a, it was a cocktail, really, wasn't it? It was eaten mess with like a daiquiri that was yeah. that was literally. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't remember that. What is their game plan? What are they doing right now? That's the weird. They're so weird, aren't they? He almost killed the woman. 
Can you imagine if you just killed her on camera? <laughs> just whacked her against that. that you was, can do that. That with was those fucking well dogs. funny. Something pretty special, I yeah. think, to win at this point. Let's be honest. <laughs> Do you remember that weird hotel they got us to go to? I don't even... Yeah, that hotel on the East Cliff. And we just went and sat in that room. Do you, that, do you remember the peach bellini? The peach... Oh, they curdled because they used fresh peach um, And it was disgusting. Yeah. It was like milky peach mill. But look at me in that cute shirt. I look cute. I think we both look cute. <gasps> It takes a lot to warm my chilly heart. My chilly heart. Oh, that was quite special. And the winners are that was sweet, that bit. Yeah, that bit. Which, from a lot of other people, I would have. I th think that would be gross. But from them, like, they're just so sweet, those two. Okay, it's so the final hurdle. Gee, I feel like we've been doing this for hours and days. It's the third night of our couples competition in <laughs> All of this is just such forced, like, reaction shots. That's why we're all like, staring really yeah. weirdly. They lived like two seconds away from us. That yeah. was so weird, wasn't it? Because we didn't know where they lived as well. So we got in a cab and it was just like, we're here. We're like, oh, yeah, the cab literally a few rows like a around. Roof. Yeah. That was weird. The scallops were good. I will say, I think they did the best food. Yes. Um, no. I think the best main. The, but they did the best. Main I think we did the best starter and Joe and Rupert did the best. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my personal opinion. I did really like this starter, but I feel like our starter was also great. Why is it always me fucking shoveling it in? Look at someone else doing it. Look at Joe's lovely scallops, and this is like a real treat for me. Take note. Never get to eat scallops. You can eat scallops if you want to. No, I don't get to eat them, do I? Fuck, make me a scallop, bitch. You make it yourself. No, you make it. Look at that wallpaper. That's tricky, isn't it? Well, apparently I don't remember this correctly because I just said it was just kind of like mush on the plate. Oh, you didn't even like it. I like the idea of it. This is something that I would probably order in a restaurant, but clearly I didn't think much of it. Darren gave me a Christmas present, and in there was a severed hand. Not a real one, I hope. Because Darren and I both love zombies. This was a weird aspect I of it. Never have thought. The part where you go and find... It was very much like, so, what's an interesting thing about you? Oh, we like zombies, right? That's going to make it to the episode. Like, but like what? horror is, is, is like a thing, or gore, but to specifically to be super into zombies, I just think it's a if weird If you were aspect. really into that and you had to like shit around your house like we do in our new house, like there's a yes. lot of like spooky gothic shit, like that I understand would be a topic of conversation if we were to do it again. Like the decor, there's skulls everywhere. It's very gothic. But they mentioned this zombie storyline earlier on, on, on a different Meanwhile, night. the place is very like Laura Ashley. Super vanilla. Yeah. But they said that their thing to go and find was that severed hand, but they just obviously never used, that was the thing yeah. they took in the house. But we, they'd said that on our night and we went and got them some flowers. Do you remember? And it was, we found these like- Oh yeah. We yes. found some like Halloween, Halloween like zombie hand things and stuck them in it. We, I'm sorry, but that was great. Yeah, we, that was very. We that deserved very to do well. <laughs> oh my god, we spent ages doing that. Yeah, we did. Fans of the undead. Was it like eyeballs or something? I feel like it was eyeballs that we like put in the bouquet. <laughs> Look at me just See, noshing I you off. Definitely survive the zombie apocalypse. I think Gemma's basic lack of cooking. Is shiny, shiny she forehead. couldn't wash a mug. She would not survive shit. I like the, the close up of the plastic lavender. I can't think of a weird, strange gift. The best gift Joe's ever given me is my son. <gasps> Look at her. She's, she's had like a drink and she's really taken back and like genuinely emotional. Should I just ask to go to the toilet? Do you guys want to have a little moment? Anybody's ever been Rupert and Joe. That was, that was nice. very sweet because it was very genuine. Yeah, we showed this to, we watched it with a friend and she said, that's yeah, fucking yeah, disgusting. Yeah, How stupid. And we were just like, uh, oh. It, it takes a lot to warm my chilly heart. But that was quite special, wasn't it? Oh, because yeah. he's just so sweet. Do you remember what we were sat on in that room? Banoffee pie. <laughs> well, what's I your thought of that? What's your favourite kind of pie? <laughs> what were we sitting on? Like chest. We were sitting on... A trunk. 
like like luggage, like Did a, we break like a it? trunk. Oh my god, it was like a suitcase. Because there was something ready to sit on. I think the bed wasn't the right level or it was too soft or something. So they got like this hard trunk suitcase thing for us to sit on and it was fucking tiny. It was hard. We had to balance on it. It was didn't so we? difficult. I did, I, I'm remem remembering a lot more about this than I thought I would. What did they do? Tuna? Tuna, beef, steak, and, and, then, satan. and then the seitan thing. I cannot stress how drunk we were. Well, in the final, final shot, you'll see how wasted I am because I'm swaying. Jo oh, fell asleep at one girl. point, didn't she? She she was completely intelligible. She was wasted. I think it was a mistake to do sweet potato fries with this. It, it was, was the whole sweet. evening was very sweet, but that sauce was. I would kill for that sauce. From scratch. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know. Look at me, I'm so critical. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think you are? <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> not you nice. Are you? You're not a nice dinner guest at all. I'm a lovely That's dinner guest. So very um. Look, look at me! Oh, very shut! Leaning in, frame there. Shoveling it down. Uh, yeah. Dodgy consistency, and I'm I'm not sure what went into it, but it tasted chocolatey to me. Tuna is cooked exactly. You're like so it. mean. It wasn't good. I've been a huge fan of steak, but I have to say this is honestly like so good. It was great. That sauce. Drizzle yeah, yeah, it but no, but the, the seitan steak. I really appreciate the effort that went into it, but it wasn't good. Now you can relax. So we didn't. Oh, Any this Ibiza was... Listen, movie. before we get into this, not only... So, oh. <laughs> we went outside because, like, there wasn't a lot of, like, space. Like, so, we so sometimes they sequestered us and, like, where, where are you allowed to go? So we'd go outside into the garden and there was a screen that was put up. Oh. And we said to Mila, like, our handler, oh, is that, is that going to be used later? She goes, pretend you can't see it. It's not there. I don't know what you're talking and about. No, but we saw I that think, music stand as well. Yeah, and she was like, I think they've just like had that there for like she something else. She was like, furious with Mila for doing that. She said, have you taken them outside? They can't go outside. But listen, however like not particularly effective this was, trying to get a bunch of essentially strangers to dance. On cue. On cue, when there's six of you in a huge garden, trying to get you to dance, on TV as well. It's such a terrible idea. So it's hilarious to watch, but it was so awful. Some music, some saxophone playing. Look at her there. A bit of dancing. <laughs> Are we even having an Ibiza notes? <laughs> Yes, we are. God. This is gonna take me. <laughs> to I remember just thinking, fucking. <laughs> look at my look, face. Wait, look at us. <laughs> look. <laughs> what was it though? Look at how drunk we are here. I had no idea. It was so. I'm bright red. I've never been we to sat a in that room. Play the saxophone. We slagged this off for 40 minutes, and the director was pissing herself. That was remember? so funny. And she couldn't use any of it <laughs> because. It was just so bizarre. And yeah, the, the director was crying with laughter. And the three of us were just in this room, just p literally pissing ourselves, laughing. And she was just like, we have we have to, I have to get some footage out of this I can use because this is yeah, just a mess. Said, can, like, can that's we... why we all of a sudden are bright red because we've been sitting there getting pissed for ages. Oh, disaster. <laughs> oh, and the neighbours complained, didn't they? Giant scream. Look at how bloodshot my eyes are. Ibiza, it was Bournemouth. All so strange. Shopping trolley, shopping Oh, look. We went along with That's it. That's the other thing. It wasn't even Ibiza. It was Bournemouth Beach. Dog shit everywhere. <laughs> and when it went out, Gemma and Darren said, do you want to come and watch it round that woman's house? Because she's got like a cinema room in Oh, her yeah. House. Oh, we were like, no, we, we said, can't no, because no. I feel like we flagged her off. Well, we didn't say no, that. No, no, but that was why we but couldn't we go. we said, no, we don't know what they're going to use, so we best all watch it separately. <laughs> the dessert, this dessert was lovely, but it was just all sugar. I didn't think much of this at all. I feel like, um, oh my God, it's just all sugar. I feel like Eaton Mess is such an easy dessert to make. Like, there's no skill in Eaton Mess. <gasps> and then it's just a cocktail. Tell that you made this supermarket meringue as chalky as you like. So this is really great. For that me, is true. It is. Favorite dessert of the week. Oh, you. Other than us. 
<laughs> Duplicitous <laughs> cow. <laughs> Ours is the best. River does do very good impressions of certain celebrities. What <gasps> the impressions what? did I do? Um, you, do a good you did loads, but. <laughs> Is that my Celine? What is funny is this, this will then blend into Cher. No matter how oh, it's so, I was, it's so easy. I'm such a tart for it, I can't, I'm such a tart. So there was actually Shakira in between that, wasn't there? Well, this was when she, the, the director gave Gemma the line, what's your, ask them for like a, an impression you can do. Oh, they should have. I did a whole fucking like two hour set. You should have seen it. Very good, but it felt like a bit of a start for ten and needs some more work. Amazing in parts, but a little bit sporadic. I love that colour on Joe. Just a bit forced. So tonight. Gosh, that's so much. Just makes me think of of like trying to peel her off the sofa. Tonight we're giving Gemma and Darren. Look at me. I'm half cut. Yeah. Look at the state of me as well. Absolute mess. So this is the this is the the yeah. prize money, which is a thousand pounds, and they were like the the, the producers were standing by, weren't they? Joint. Yeah. Second. <gasps> Who's it gonna be? Joe and Rupert. Gemma and Darren. Oh my god! I never saw it coming. <laughs> I don't like the way he said that, putting themselves in the top spot. Yeah, that's Darren so... and Gemma gave gave the other two 13, so it's not a low score. Because that was an implication as well, that like we did that to win. Like, to win, but we didn't One know. of the things throughout the entire show is that we were constantly being told, like, you, you guys, you really need to look like you want to win, because we kept saying, like, we don't care if we win, and they're like, no, 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 you, you want to, to win. win. You like, got, yeah. the whole time we were like, so we're just annoying. here for like the, I just think it'd be a laugh. And I they're like, no, guys, we've got to be a bit competitive, like, you want to win, oh, so. so irritating. But we didn't know anyone's opposite. scores. We weren't allowed to talk about scores. But there were a lot of, like, people commenting um, on like social media stuff so like oh they gave everyone low scores so they could win like we literally couldn't care less babe. we couldn't care less but also we never saw them that whole evening the entertainment was dire yeah all over the laminate I'm so sorry wasted we were we were wasted really the result yeah. Look at her. I would like to do this week every week in my life <laughs> <laughs> she can barely string her sentence together I've decided to spend thousand pounds on an army of rhinestone flamingos in the front garden. <laughs> look, at, look at me swaying. <laughs> oh, and then they played share over the credits. So they said, what are you going to spend the money on? And Nova act literally came out with, oh, well, probably just maybe pay off some debt or something. No, I said we should go on a holiday. No, because she said, you've got to, that's dull. You've yeah, got yeah. To I said, I said, we're going to go on a holiday. She goes, no, boring. So I just was like, oh, listen, just roll it and I'll say something fucking stupid. What did I say? Uh, rhinestone flamingos. Yeah, and then she was like, I mean, it's a bit abstract, but I think we'll keep we'll it because like, it, it fits, it so fits the night, doesn't it? And then it? A, the second that happened, they were like, stop, everyone freeze. And the, the producer guy ran in to count the money because we threw the money. That's like a thing you've got to do is throw the money everywhere. And then he was it's like... It's the same... Oh. Um, oh banknotes that they use for every episode. The exact same cash. Because the cash is just given to you like lots. via a box transfer. So listen, that was our reaction to our episode of Couples Come Dine With Me. I feel like you're probably going to have to edit this down a bit, aren't you? Yes, I probably will because at the moment it's like two hours worth because we kept stopping. But it'll but be fun. It'll be a long video. And if you would like to watch the full unedited episodes, you can watch it via Surfshack if you're outside of the UK or if you're in the UK um, just on four. It's not called four a day anymore. It's it all four. four. You're, so, all you're showing four, your yeah. age now. Yeah. I'm just that sort now. No, not this. We've got some <laughs> birthday shout outs to do. Uh, we have a Patron if you'd like to head over there and get some exclusive content, including the very first time we all got together. Yes. From the, the Come Down With Me crew. And we were wasted and we did like a, a little a video together talking about yes. it. Does everybody agree with the scoring? <laughs> they can't answer. <laughs> There's other garbage as well, but some of them get birthday shout outs, including, but not limited to. Hang on, let me find them. <laughs> Here we go. So for February 27th, we've got Ryan and Ambrose. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday guys. to the pair of you. So then for March 1st, we've got Dan and As MUA FX. Dan Roth and As MUA FX. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to the pair of you. March 2nd is Will Goody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Will. March 5th. The sad drunk. Oh. 
happy birthday. Oh, and then Joey D for match oh, also fifth. Also, match yes. Happy birthday, happy birthday to all of you. Oh! What you gonna do with all that ash? I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> no. Thank you so much again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Um, all of our social media Socials. is in the description below. We're on Twitch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get out. You've got to do two really quick. What time is it? <laughs> Give 20 points to our brand new patrons, Catriona McNabb, Corley, Lauren and Becky, Kristen Stone, Alec Johnson, Tobias Godfrey, Her Majesty the Queen, Christopher William Wright, Mitch Elliott, Mubi Katrui, Nura Kivijervi, Kate Angelina, Enzo, Domino with an E, Bitch Face and Lorna Hale. Don't look at my, that's only, you can only see my heels. Wiki feet are shaking. What's wiki feet? Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.